Word Gang, what it do? Today we're gonna talk about all the mods I got on my Jeep. I'ma tell y'all every mod I got on my Jeep, I'ma leave a link so y'all can go get those mods if you wanna get those mods. As you know, I got a street Jeep and uh, let's get straight to it. I'ma show y'all exactly what I got on my Jeep. Jeep. This is my Jeep right here. It's a 2018 Jeep Sahara Unlimited. It's a Jeep Sahara Unlimited. This is a JL. I know it's a 2018, but remember in 2018, half the year was the JK and the other half was the JL when they introduced the new body style, the new look Jeep. There was a second half of uh, 2018 and this is a 2018 Jeep. I believe I owned this Jeep for three years. Yeah, about three years now. And uh, I'm gonna tell y'all every modification that I got on it for my street setup. This is my uh, street Jeep, custom Jeep setup. I got an off-road setup too, but this is, I'm just gonna tell you everything I got on it right now. So let's get straight to it. First off, let's go with the biggest thing you see right now. The biggest thing is I got the 26 inch fuel contra wheels. These are 26 inch fuel contra wheels. As you can see, they're 26 inch wheels. And uh, to be always honest, I believe they may have discontinued this wheel, but uh, no, they, they, they let me rephrase it. They didn't discontinue it. They was out of stock. Last time I checked, they was out of stock, but they might be in stock again. This is a 26 inch wheel. So, and that wheel comes on while we speaking of the wheel. The tire is a 37 by 13.5. I'm gonna let y'all see it. 37 by 13.5, 26 RLT 117. I don't know what all that means, but this is the tire. I'm not no tire guy. You tire people to know what that means, but this is an amp tire. These are amp tires right here, as you can see. I will leave the link in the description for all of this stuff. So if you want to know, the link gonna be in the description. But yep, it's on the 30s. This is a 26 inch wheel on a 37 tire. And no, it's not no rubber band tire, as you can see. It's not the thickest tire in the world, but a rubber band tire would be something like that, or maybe even thinner, it would be something like that. Look how this tire is quite thick. You know what I'm saying? You put my whole hand, as you can see bigger than my whole hand so don't let nobody say oh he riding no rubber band tires these are not rubber band tires so get on up out of here so those are fuel contra wheels those are amp tires 37 by 13.5 26 also while we're looking at the wheel this would be a little cheap mod right here for those the new jeep people these are jeep right here caps. yeah like i was saying these are valve stem caps they say jeep if you look closely they say jeep on them i don't know if i can zoom in my hand look at my hands I can't really zoom in on them, but yeah, these are Jeep. They say Jeep, and uh, I believe I paid maybe 25, 30 bucks for them. Link will be in the description, but yeah, I, I got the color match. They got different colors. I got these colors to go with the color I, I, I got going with my Jeep, which is black is gray, black and gray, or black, gray, and chrome. So I decided to get these so they match, they would match, but yeah. So that's another mod right there. I know all my mods are mostly, some of them cosmetic, some of them are not, you know what I mean? So let's roll with it. Let's keep on going. Since we over here, let's talk about, I got the DV8 inner fenders. These are DV8 inner fenders. As you can see, these are DV8 inner fenders. These cost me maybe 340. Maybe they may cost 500. I don't, I'm not for sure. I'll leave the link in the description because I forgot how much they cost. Let's not even talk about how much they cost because I don't remember some of the stuff. I don't remember, man. It's, I got so much stuff on this Jeep, I just don't remember. So I'm not going to get into cost if you want it and can afford it you're gonna buy it but i will like to leave the link but yeah these are dva inner fender inner fenders and uh as you can see i put all these in it took me probably about it took me two days to install these i had to do the front and then i had to do the back i should have back in a second but uh i had to cut on that it, it's a whole process i got a video you can go, just browse my content you'll see the video of me installing these but yeah these are dva inner fenders so we here, let me talk about uh, this is also on my Jeep. In order to get these 26 inch, my bad, in order to get these 26 inch wheels on the Jeep to fit it to fit without any problems, I ended up getting a four inch super lift. A four inch super lift. So, then a four inch super lift in order to put the 26 inch wheels on it. Now, I don't know for sure if it could have fit without the lift, but I wasn't gonna take a chance. I'm pretty sure if you didn't put a lift on it, it's probably gonna be some problems. So, I would advise you not to get a to put 26 inch wheels on your jeep without getting a lift on it that's my like i said my my lift is a four inch super lift four inch super lift link me in the description also i got this light bar i got a light bar on my jeep the light bar comes with this little piece right here 
comes with that all oh, this is all more all comes with the light bar that whole little piece come with the light bar i'm probably gonna end up changing that light bar out but i like the light bar it's cool but um probably gonna end up changing out because i got i'm going a different route shortly but yeah that, that that whole little assembly that whole little piece right there comes together so got that light bar also got this little bitty antenna right here it's a little bitty antenna this i know for sure this cost me like 20 bucks but i don't know it might be on sale on amazon i ain't for sure that little antenna cost me 20 bucks i got this uh dv8 um hood the DVA hood. I got this DVA hood because I liked it because, as you know, it looked aggressive and I like the aggressive look. It goes perfect with my Jeep. Although this DVA hood does not come painted, you have to, you gonna buy this hood, you're gonna have to get it painted. So that's good. It costs about 300 bucks to get it painted. And if they charge you any more than that, then that's just outrageous. About 300 bucks. Hopefully you get somebody to paint it for a little bit less, but uh, that's how much it cost me. Also, this angry grill. Got the angry grill. Got that little angry grill. And uh, I'm pretty sure this costs about 200 some bucks. Maybe a little less, don't quote me on that, but I definitely got the angry grill. Love the angry grill. A lot of people don't love the angry grill. Hell, a lot of people don't love this hood either, but it is what it is, baby. We out here doing what we do best. Big boy blessed. I got uh, this little license plate in the front. Got the little license plate. I know that ain't no crazy mind, but it goes good with the Jeep, as you can see. It's nice to see that little, and it's nice. It was, a, I think it's probably about 50, 60 bucks, though. It wasn't no cheap little license plate. That's because it's uh, like a look, it's like a little mirror right here. It's chrome. These ain't, these ain't, they plastic, but they ain't like, they said that way it doesn't rust, if you know what I mean. It don't rust. But, uh, is it raining out here? Hopefully it don't start raining. Hopefully it start raining after I get done with doing what I'm doing, what I'm doing, what I'm doing. Uh, also, as we go in here, Let's see what inside i got i got a few little mods inside i got this little thing right here this little armrest right here uh i forgot what it's called but i will leave a link in the description it's like a it's like for like if you got dogs or things like that it won't mess up your natural armrest it pops right on top of your reg your uh, regular armrest and it's got some 3m tape and it pops up there and it's pretty sturdy too so it doesn't it won't come off so you don't have to worry about it coming off and uh it's a good little it's a good little thing to have especially if you got little dogs because i got a little miniature pincher and a little chihuahua too i got big dogs too i got big ass pit bulls too but that way they don't mess up your uh hand rest arm rest whatever you want to call it i got the little steering wheel cover let me get in the jeep also i got the steering wheel cover and uh ordered this off of amazon couldn't find it nowhere i went to like AutoZone. we went all over AutoZone. what's the other place uh o'reilly's advanced auto we went to a couple of places and nobody had them so we had to order that offline uh my fiance bought this she bedazzled this damn um four-wheel drive thing i would not my style but it is what it is she drives this jeep way more than i drive the jeep i love it but she drives way more than i drive it this right here is a little uh we ain't gonna call it a mod but it's what you put a little like you put cologne in here like something that's, some smell good so your jeep would always smell good i'll leave a link in the description for this this is a perfect thing to have your car always smell good when you got one of these because you just pour the liquid in and it just lets it flow out man it smells good jeep always smell good and this nice little thing hanging from your little mirror got a little bedazzle going with it too look real good and it don't it doesn't hit the uh thing like that so even if it does it's not gonna mess it up so yeah we got that we also got the little uh little bag over here the little seat belt the little seat belt things little uh to cover your chest up little jeep little logo on them real nice got those off of amazon they look real good look real good go real freaky diggy with the jeep real dc dc easy decent and for those who don't know what that means it's real decent and uh, also, we got these WeatherTech or D-Tool WeatherTech mat type uh, Jeep mats. If you look closely, that's a Jeep right there. I think that's tight. You know what I mean? That's a little, that's a little Jeep right there. Got those off of Amazon, too. Like, I, like I've been saying, link will be in the description for those who want to get those. Because I don't want nobody saying, he didn't even put the links in the description. Oh, my God. He didn't put the links in the description. He said he would do it. I'm going to do it this time. Last time I did a Jeep video with all my mods, I didn't put the links in the description. Also, Amazon did not accept me. So I was like, man, I ain't finna put no links and help them out. They ain't trying to help me out. This got to be a business thing. You know what I'm saying? But uh, also, the other weather mag is in the back. 
the vapor maxes do not come with the weather mats for y'all that oh man the weather mats oh what? they don't come but yeah also the same thing in the back as you see they got a little jeep but this whole this one in the back let me move these shoes in this purse this whole jeep thing this is one whole mat right here so you're gonna get three mats you're gonna like damn what a, it's one whole big mat that goes from once from the left side to the right side or the right side to the left side and it covers over the little middle area too as you can see so that comes as one piece so be looking at it looking for that when you get those they definitely they're definitely some good mats real sturdy dirty they real sturdy dirty so i would definitely recommend them but uh also i got these dva light covers see the dva light pro covers these are two pieces two pieces that come with these, these easy install i did a video on these if you want to if you do get these easy easy install i'll show you i'll walk you through it from point a to z so these are dv8 light covers and they look real real good if you ask me and while we over here i'm gonna go down i got the axle back uh afe power axle back i will do a uh two-year review on these because it's things i don't do like about it and things i don't like about it but i will do a review on them but for short make it short and quick these are very great they make your jeep sound wonderful um they sound good and these tips right here these like four inch tips they pop off so you can paint them whatever color you want to paint them i'm probably gonna end up painting them black shortly because uh, the gray is not like looking like it did so i'm gonna end up painting them black and i'll paint that clip back black too sand it down a little bit get rid of that rust but yeah that's part of the game anyway when you live in the Midwest. Also, I'm gonna let you get a good look at it right here. As you can see, you can zoom in on it. It says AFE right there. Nice too. It's a nice little piece. It should run about, if I'm not mistaken, about maybe four or five hundred bucks, maybe a little less. I don't know. But I link it. You tell me what it costs. Also, I got instead of getting four wheels, I got five wheels for my G. Five 26 inch wheels, yeah. From these are fuel contra wheels. I got five of these bad boys. Most people only get three. They get the delete on the back of their Jeep. I mean, not three. I'm tripping. I said, I said three. Who only get three 26 inch wheels on their Jeep? Come on, pop, smack yourself, T like. But yeah, I got five, and they cost me a pretty penny. This whole wheel and tire setup cost me a lot, man. And I, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. It's gonna cost you. It's gonna be steep. I don't care if you just get 22 inch wheels, 24s. 26s but if you get a five it's gonna knock you it's gonna slap you with five fingers it's gonna hurt but it is what it is i think you need the fifth wheel to make the jeep look right i think you need to put the fifth wheel on it it just makes the jeep look more official so if anybody asks me my advice i would say yes go ahead and get the fifth wheel you won't be mad you'll be thankful that you got the fifth wheel don't just cover it over with like a little jeep tarp shovel cover over your regular wheel like a jeep tarp because let's be honest if you get a flat tire you're gonna need a a, a 26 inch wheel to put onto that because your stock wheel is not gonna be able to go on there like that so just go ahead and break, break, break down get the fifth wheel go ahead and make it happen man just go ahead and do it it's gonna make your jeep look so much better i promise you that also i got the little valve stem too as you can see it says g but yeah make sure you get that also i got the rack this is a better rack and this is a more sturdier up up to date rack i said up to date this is this is the rack is designed to carry the weight of something like this and i paid like maybe 70 80 bucks maybe a little more than that but uh, i'll leave a link for you guys so y'all can see that because you definitely got to get one that's gonna be strong enough to support this as you can see see how this is not even wiggly look it's not like like a wiggly thing it's, it's, it's supporting it and this the brake light right here this is adjustable it can go higher or go a little lower just depending if you get a 26 it's gonna go high if you get a 28 i think it can go up there but i can't i don't think it goes to 30 and i don't think you want to have a 30 inch wheel on the back here anyway but yeah i definitely leave a link for that also i got a uh, the license plate in the back this probably ran me about maybe 30 40 50 bucks too this is it's a, it's a jeep light jeep license plate it comes with chrome and this is like a little black like satin like little black and it i done had it on here for a couple of years and it as you can see there's no rust on it or nothing like that but I, you know i like to keep my vehicles real crispy clean crispy dispy you know what i mean it's got a little jeep sign at the top too cover my license plate up you know what i mean i don't want nobody all in my bizzo you dizzo yeah what else do i got on this bad boy also i got this fuel cap fuel cap i don't know how much i forgot how much that costs it costs a little bit 
it ain't gonna kill you because if you can afford half of these mods this damn show ain't gonna kill you so you go ahead and get that mod that mod what i got in the back of this bad boy uh that's about i got this little jeep mat back here too got this little jeep mat for the back you know this little thing this little carrying this little carrying case i know you're like this ain't that ain't no mod yeah it is this is what i put my uh the tops when i take the tops off the little four piece top i take that i put it in this this cost me probably about a, maybe 70 80 bucks maybe 100 who knows I don't, i'm not for sure but somewhere i'm gonna leave a link for you so don't even don't even worry about it you will have a link you will have a link yeah, you have a link so i got you but yeah that's pretty much the logistics the basis of my uh the basis of it so it's pretty much the basis i got these in stock but i ended up having to replace one so i had to buy those so these are mopar stock thing i ended up having to replace one of these so i ended up having to buy a set and they run you a pretty penny these more expensive than if you was gonna buy like some um regular running boards but i'm about to get some different running boards but i just figured i'd tell you i got end up having to get another one of those it is what it is but uh yeah and uh, i meant to show y'all the back uh dv I, i'm sorry i meant to show y'all the back dv8 inner fenders this is what the back dv8 inner fenders look like they're more uh they less open than the ones in the front they just got that little opening in the back and the rest of it is solid and as you can see i had them on here for about a year maybe a year year and a half and there's no rust on them but i do keep my i do clean my vehicles on a regular i definitely do clean it but as you can see there's no rust they're all black and like you said i did end up having to mod that so it would uh cover the inner guts it's a video on that shit that ain't no rust right there but everything else man it's all it's, it's turned out real they turned out real good as you can see looks real good definitely accentuates the jeep and the wheels and everything that's going with it with the fox shocks the fox shocks yeah man but that's pretty much it that's pretty much everything i can remember that i can remember right now i don't remember anything oh yeah i got these uh these halogen lights man they real bright but i should have just went with it i'm gonna end up going with a different kind of light because these is like the yellow lights but they super bright they like super bright too bright so i'm gonna end up going with a different kind of light i'm gonna end up going i'm gonna end up changing these out too change those out i'm probably gonna end up to be honest with you probably gonna end up changing these whole little fenders out and go with a different route probably gonna go with a delete a light delete right here you know the ones that got the little thin little light right there probably gonna end up going with that but uh, i'm not really for sure right now this jeep is going for, for for all my people that's full with tea light you know this jeep right here this jeep right here it's going to be forever changing so it will never really be the same from year to year it's going to always be something i'm adding to it do, do, as the year goes i got mods right now i'm going to add to it so it's always going to be some different things going on with the jeep but i just want people want everybody to keep up with the build because that's like i was saying it's always going to be forever changing but this video is basically for people that want to know what i've done to my jeep so far because i get a lot of people on instagram which my instagram will be linked into the in the bio too go follow me i'm over a hundred thousand on that but uh it's for people that want to know what i'm doing with my jeep because it's a lot of it's a big old it's a big custom jeep community out there for people that a lot of people don't know it's a big custom jeep community out there that like they like their jeeps to be custom street jeeps and a lot of people don't like to take their 60 70 thousand dollar jeep out in the dirt and playing the dirt i don't play in the dirt ain't nothing wrong with playing in the dirt because i love off-road jeeps i got an i got an off-road setup and i'm gonna end up putting changes a lot of things out on this jeep for my off-road setup that's gonna be real freaky nice this winter but it's a big community of custom jeeps street jeeps mall crawlers whatever you want to call it pavement princesses whatever you want to call it but it's a big community out there and i love my I love, that's the part of the community that i'm with if you don't like the jeep it's on you but uh for those who do like the jeep i'm gonna show them what the mods that i got on it and uh maybe they'll go different route same route i really don't care do what you do you see the hellcat back there prometheus big werewolf gang but yeah for colossal we got colossal modded out this is what colossal looks some of these mods i told you like i said was cosmetic some were not but uh with that being said man i want y'all to stay up y'all stay safe out there you know big jeep gang big jeep gang y'all stay up man y'all Stay away from the suckers. Believe in yourself. Links will be in the description. I'm sorry on the first, my first video that I did with all my mods, I did not leave any links. Even on my uh, 392 Daytona, I didn't leave no links. I'm getting to talk. I'm getting off the subject, but uh, links will be entered this time, man. Y'all stay up. 
Big Werewolf Gang, and I'm going to end this video like I always end all of my videos. It's your boy, t Oh, yeah. Big shout out to the Werewolf Gang. Much love to the light crew because you already know how I feel about you. And your boy, t Less t can't even talk. And your boy T Light is out this piece. You dig? Need a fan mess, what they call me. I promise that you never be lonely. Need a fan mess, what they call me.